17-year-old Russian superstar Andrei Asipenko has been having a fabulous run at the Gibraltar Masters. He drew his final game against Wang Hao. Both players are looking at a potential playoff. The two of them join us in our studio. Andre, a draw in the final round, um, a result that you were fine with given the tournament situation from the start? Uh, yes, I wanted to play very solid uh, because it's last round that I, and I didn't like to lose. <laughs> uh, yes, um, I wanted to, uh, yes, I wanted to play this line, um, but I, ex I didn't expect uh, C6. I just don't know this line, and uh, I expected uh, A6. Okay. And uh, very solid for white, without some risk. <laughs> yes. But this is how you wanted your game today because uh, you've had a 2800 performance in the tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, drawing right now gives you a very good shot at a tie break as well, depending mm -hmm. on how the games go. But maybe David Paravian or uh, Mustafa can win. Okay, so the position. Yes. Is that something that uh, you're keeping an eye on right now? Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> Take us through what happened. Yeah, this line, but it's maybe it's just draw. Yes. Yes, yes this is, of course, theory. Famous line. Uh, instead, he went for C6 and you kept things solid? Uh, and yes. in control, actually. I uh, I remember that th this variation uh, I sacrifice a pawn, but uh, it's very very not solid. I think. So you didn't want to go for this over the board. You yeah. wanted to play something a little more uh, yeah. in control. Mm -hmm. But then after that, it was a very level game, and pretty much the ending just it fizzled out pretty quickly. A very level game all through. Yeah, yeah, I think it's without some chances to win. Right. And tell us, uh, this is your second time in Gibraltar. You've had a fantastic tournament. Uh, yeah, I like this place and one of my favorite places in the world. Uh, I'm looking forward to be here next time. <laughs> one of your favorite places in the world is a, is a big thing to say. Why? What is it that you like about Gibraltar? Mm, I like monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> we get that yes. a lot. <laughs> when I took a buy, I I went to uh, to see monkeys, and they was they were very aggressive. <laughs> and we're going to ask you to just uh, yeah. Also tell us one thing. Now I remember when you took a buy, you were actually uh, the sole leader of the tournament. Mm -hmm. Um, this buy, was it with just the idea to get some rest? Because we don't see that very often when you're leading and then you take a what was the What was the strategy behind it? Yes, I just wanted to see monkeys. monkeys. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> yes, and uh, I wanted to relax. Yes. And it's worked so, out well for you. Um, what about the other games? How do you think the, the top boards, um, how are they going right now? Um, I think uh, we will play tie break. I think yes. so too. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know with, uh, with whom. Maybe Vashier will win and uh, we will play with him. Interesting. And your last question I want to know that coming into today's game, you obviously prepared against Wang Hao, but also was there preparation involved for a potential tie break? Uh, maybe I will play uh, another variation. Okay. Because it's very solid only for last round and uh, for the break I, I will have another strategy. <laughs> we look forward to seeing what that is and all the best. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Andre. So a last round draw against Andre, um, are you satisfied with the result of this game? Mm, okay, I thought that uh, he's very solid and the, game, the tournament situation requires us uh, not to uh, make it, I mean, make things too much complicated, and I think this result, uh, I mean, completely acceptable. I think for probably for both sides. He actually was with us earlier, and he said that he was he was fine with going for a solid line and keeping things level yes, as well. Yes, yes, that was uh, what I thought I would try to do. And actually, the game was quite level throughout. Uh, no big chances taken from either side. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, have you also had a look at what is going on on the other boards and uh, are you keeping an eye out on that because there's a big chance for a tie break, a playoff? Uh, yes, okay, I was mainly seeing about the board two, but uh, now I think the position is also very equal, I mean, in bo on board two, so, okay, I mean, it's fun to play for the tie break, I don't mind. The tournament's obviously not over yet because there pro in all probability there will be a playoff. But in this classical part of the tournament, um, evaluate your play. Are you happy with the way things have gone? The end result's good. Mm, okay, it's not, not a big thing. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Last time you were with us, you mentioned that you were not feeling so well. Are you feeling better? Yes, I'm feeling much better. I think now my chat like is gone. But uh, it's clear that tomorrow I'll be... <laughs> Okay, I'll take flight and I'll go back to Beijing and this. <laughs> <laughs> right, and finally tell us that um, uh, for the tie breaks or the playoffs coming up, is there any preparation that you'll be doing or just getting some rest? I think I'll just get some rest because, also, okay, I stay in the hotel holidays, holiday in and I don't think I will try to go back. And it's not clear when the tie break will, come, I mean, will be happened. Right, well, we're going to let you get on with it and wish you all the best. Thank you very much.